Welcome to today's 3D print. Today we are going to have a filament day. Uh, this is the August Maker Box. I can only do three of the four, but um, the fourth one is coming. It wasn't um, supposed to be three millimeter. It was supposed to be 1.75 millimeter for the um, the V3 PLA, heavy duty PLA from Protopasta. So they are sending me the 1.75, which is awesome because I really want to try that filament. <laughs> but um, so let's get started. The first one I tried was the I'm going to try not to butcher this. The polycarbonate and polybutylene terephthalate. Yeah, that's a fun one to try to say. And um, it printed gorgeously. I mean, insofar as it looks nice, but it's got no layer adhesion. It just comes right apart. I mean, otherwise looks gorgeous, but has no strength. I mean, this way it has strength. The filament itself is strong, but there's no layer adhesion. I don't think that is the fault of the filament, which is why I stopped printing with it. I still have most of the sample left. I believe that is my printer being not capable of printing at the right settings. This is supposed to print at 235 to 250. I suspect it actually needs higher because I can go to 260 on this. But it needs a 100 to 125 bed temperature. And it probably would benefit from an enclosure because I just got very bad layer adhesion. Um, also, the solid layers on top of each other were not happy. It did not like printing on top of itself. Um, it just didn't come out quite clean. You can see one of the intermediate layers wasn't too bad. And it was a bear getting it off the print bed. This is one you would need to put down some glue stick to act as a release agent. At least if you're using Print and Z. Now, when it did print, it printed very nicely. I mean, it looks beautiful. I suspect the layer adhesion is my fault with my print settings and not the filament. So once I get the high temperature Flexion going on my Maker Select in the future, um, I don't know when that's going to be, it might be a month from now, um, I'll try again because that can reach 110 degree bed temperature and that can um, handle the, the all metal hot end with the Flexion extruder that should handle this a little better. So we'll play with that later. Um, Next up is the a filament I want to like but didn't work well. And I'm not sure why I want to contact the company and ask them. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But it's the Form Futura um, Crystal Flex, clear Crystal Flex. Um, it's, it's very rigid, but it's a semi-flex. So it's um, um, like even less flexible than what you would consider the normal TPU. TPU covers all of these flexible filaments, but we typically think of TPU as that really stiff um, filament that you can feed through pretty much any printer. It has some give, you can squeeze it. Um, this is uh, even stiffer than that, um, but it's crystal clear. It printed okay, and the layering looked good, and the print itself looked gorgeous. In fact, I have a little Marvin I printed. There's a little Marvin in the Crystal Flex. And the vase looks stunning, except for the fact that it has no layer adhesion. It just comes apart, which is odd. Usually flexes stick really good to themselves. So I've got to be doing something wrong. I'm going to try running this with a, um, you see it's very thin. It's a single perimeter vase. I'm going to try running this with a, um, uh, but see, even the bottom disconnected. I, w I wonder if these layers will separate. Now, see, the layers aren't separating. They're holding together. The bottom layer has got like five or six layers. And it's holding together fine. So maybe it's just too thin. Maybe I need to print this thicker. So I'm going to try increasing the extrusion multiplier. Although, the his foot pulled off when I pulled him off the bed. So it doesn't have the greatest layer adhesion. Um, well, that might just be that very first layer, actually. Yeah, that might just be that first layer. Let's see if I can break it. Oh, no, no, the foot didn't come off, but it is pretty strong. I mean, I'm pushing on that pretty good. I, I deformed it. And it didn't break, though. So it might just be that this is too thin. So I'm going to try increasing the um, flow rate the next time I print a vase and see how it comes out. And we'll go from there. Actually, now that I can do multi-process with vase mode, I can do normal 1.0 multiplier for the um, the 
the flat bottom layers and then jack up the multiplier for the vase portion to make it like 1.25 or something like that make it nice and thick and double it so we'll see how that comes out because I want to like this this stuff is cool I hope that layer adhesion is just um, my print settings because it just comes apart the the downer of the batch turned out to be the best of the batch it's weird um, I'm hoping this is cheap because I might want to buy more of this this is land filament they literally take garbage from the landfill and mix it in with PLA. So this is a municipal solid waste mixed with PLA. Land filament. <laughs> and I was pleasantly surprised. First, it prints like freaking butter. It prints like Esun PLA Pro. I mean, really, that first layer was like glass. It went down so smooth. I was very impressed by how nicely it went down. And here's the little Marvin in the land filament. You get more light here. This black is a little hard to pick up. That should work. Yeah, that works. I got over 300 watts of lighting light in this place up to do this. It, it does look better, so hopefully it works out. And then, and very strong, no issues. Then I printed the vase, and it also came out beautifully. I mean, really good PLA. If this stuff is affordable, I also like the satin finish. It's not glossy, and it's not matte. It's like satin. And look at that first layer. I, it just went down like butter. And it's strong. It doesn't want to crack. See, I can fold that all the way. Um, it's watertight. I'm, I'm probably going to crack it doing this, but let's try pushing in on the side here. Yeah, of course, that cracked it. It is just PLA, after all. <laughs> so you do that, you're going to break it. But as you can see, it's, it's, it's plenty strong otherwise. It doesn't, it's not separating, it's not breaking layers. That's me punching my finger straight through the side of a, what is that? Oh, a 0.4 millimeter wall, so that's not really fair. But, um... Impressive, impressive PLA. I'm going to look this one up and see if it's affordable. If this is affordable, I want to buy more of this. I like the color. It's just got a really nice, like a, a slightly matte satin finish color to it, and I really like that. And the last one, you're going to have to wait for because i got to wait till I get my 1.75 millimeter sample in. <laughs> so, more on that later. That's it for this filament video. I will make more later. Um, I will provide a link to MakerBox, and if I can find it, a link to all of those filaments. They, they won't be affiliate links, but I'll, I don't care. Cool filaments, cool filament. So if you like it, I'll see if I can figure out how you can check them out.